With the 25 km subsea cable successfully laid and onshore works complete, it's time to prepare the 12-ton wave hub for its controlled descent, 55 meters onto the seabed below. Sitting 10 nautical miles off the coast of Hale, specialist contractor CTC Marine first deploys a remote operating vehicle off the cable-laying ship, the Nordica. The ROV will ensure the four 300-metre cable tails, which serve the four berths at the wave hub, are in the right position, and is also used to survey the entire length of the cable. WaveHub General Manager Guy Lavender waited patiently on board a neighbouring vessel as the seven-year project to bring the WaveHub to fruition entered its final stages. We've had a number of issues and technical problems over the, over the course of, uh, of the last few weeks, but we've persevered with them. Uh, the final stage of this operation has gone uh, extremely smoothly. They've been laying cable uh, over the course of the last 24 hours of around about 500 metres per hour. Uh, and we're on track now to get this, get this thing in the water and get this project completed. After seven years and a lot of time and effort from the project team and the contractors, it feels incredibly exciting uh, to be stood on this vessel, watching this hub about to be prepared to go over the side. So um, it's a combination of so much work from so many different people. Um, and it's really the beginning. In one way, it feels like the end, but it's the start of this industry. It's the start of this project. Uh, there's lots more work to be done, uh, but it's a really, really exciting moment. WaveHub is creating the world's largest test site for wave energy technology by building a grid-connected socket on the seabed off the coast of Cornwall in southwest England, to which wave power devices can be connected and their performance evaluated. Fantastic moment, um, a moment that we've been waiting for uh, for all these years. You can see behind me the hub just about to be lowered uh, into the water uh, out here, uh, 10 nautical miles from Hale. It's a brilliant moment for us. It's the culmination of seven years' work. Southwest Region Development Agency saw this project as being critical. They brought it to fruition, uh, which is a great credit to them and great credit to the contractors behind me who've worked so hard through so many difficulties in the last few weeks get us to this point where we're going to see the hub go into the water and really marks the start of building a marine energy industry here in Cornwall. With the wave hub submerged under the Cornish waves, special cameras on the remote operated vehicle captured the very moment that the device dropped onto the seabed, where it will lie for the next 25 years as a cornerstone of the UK's wave energy industry.